In the annals of human imagination, few concepts captivate us quite like the idea of time travel. It's an idea that has fueled countless stories, captured the imaginations of scientists and dreamers alike, and sparked endless debates about the nature of reality itself. Now, this time traveler has emerged from nowhere with a photo from the year 6000. But what mysteries lie hidden within this seemingly innocuous image? Join us as we delve into the interesting tales of 20 photos captured by individuals who claim to have traveled through time. Number 20, John Titor. It all began with an engaging online post by someone later dubbed John Titor, dated November 2nd, year 2000. He claimed to be a time traveler sent back from the future on a mission to retrieve a portable computer. Despite hiding behind four avatars, Titor provided intricate details about his purpose and painted a striking picture of society in his future. This sparked a whirlwind of curiosity, assumption, and cheating that has persisted for nearly two decades. Some deeply believed in John Titor's story, while others became obsessed with investigating its flaws and inconsistencies, similar to digital detectives unraveling a mystery. Art Bell, the attractive host of the late-night radio show Coast to Coast AM, which delved into paranormal phenomena, had passed away in 1998. Yet, his legacy endured as his show attracted eccentrics nationwide, featuring tales of alien encounters, strange physics, and more. In one of his open timeline segments, Bell read a letter from someone claiming to be a time traveler, adding fuel to the already blazing fire of speculation. As time progressed, Teeter's predictions, delivered via fax from 2004 and beyond, included grim prophecies such as nuclear war. However, his explanations were incompatible, and his forecasts always missed the mark. Eventually, the efforts of a private investigator, coupled with mounting evidence, led many to conclude that the entire incident was an elaborate hoax. Number 19. Andrew Basiago Andrew Basiago, a licensed lawyer from Washington State, claims to have been involved in secretive missions related to time travel and space-time portals since he was only six years old in 1967. His father, who worked for the Ralph Monroe Parsons Company, which was heavily involved in engineering, introduced him to these extraordinary endeavors. According to Basiago, he was formally recruited into the Pegasus Time Travel Project, which was funded by the CIA and its precursor, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Between 1969 and 1972. He shares more of his adventures in time travel, particularly his involvement in Project Pegasus. In his book, One Interesting Account, Basiago vividly describes being transported to the year 2045. He recounts undergoing tests, such as age progression, to prepare for the challenges of time travel. He also reveals extraordinary details about the project's ability to foresee future events, including the presidencies of George Walker Bush, Bill Clinton, and Barack Obama, as well as the involvement of figures like Donald Rumsfeld. Basiago explains Rumsfeld's significant role in Project Pegasus, noting his responsible conduct towards him and other young volunteers. He discusses Rumsfeld's later involvement in various incidents such as the Jackie Gleason Homestead AFB incident with President Nixon, his exposure of the Pentagon's secret spending plan before the September 11th attacks, and his support for the creation of a United States Space Corps, which unfortunately faced bureaucratic obstacles within the Pentagon. Number 18. Future Air Raid Bernard Hutt, a British journalist and photographer Joachim Brandt, were thrust into the heart of one of history's most puzzling tales. Back in 1932, they were on a routine assignment at the Hamburg shipyard for a German newspaper. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary initially, but soon they found themselves during an incredible event. As they worked, the calmness of the shipyard was shattered by the sudden roar of engines and the terrifying explosion of bombs. It was as if they were caught in a full-blown air raid. Brandt managed to capture chilling photographs of the chaos unfolding around them. Shaken but unharmed, they quickly retreated. However, upon returning to their newspaper office and recounting their harrowing experience, they were met with disbelief. No reports of an air raid on the Hamburg shipyard existed. Brandt's developed photographs showed nothing but the serene scene of the shipyard at peace. The incident could have been brushed off as a shared vision or an elaborate joke. Yet, nearly a decade later, during the height of World War II in 1943, the Hamburg shipyard suffered a devastating air raid by Allies forces. It mirrored exactly the scenario Hutt and Brandt claimed to have witnessed in 1932. Number 17. Victor Goddard 
In 1935, the top leader of the British Royal Air Force, Victor Goddard, encountered something many might consider inexplicable. Goddard's journey began like any other, flying from Menber, Scotland, back to his home base in Andover, England. However, what followed was far from ordinary. As Goddard flew over the abandoned Drem airfield in East Lothian, Scotland, he found it in a state of disrepair, a relic of World War I's aftermath. But as he soared through the skies, a sudden and intense storm destroyed his plane, forcing him above the clouds into a disorienting world. When the storm cleared, revealing the radiant sun, the scene below had transformed. Instead of the ragged airfield he had just passed, Goddard beheld a busty and fully operational base. Mechanics in unusual blue overalls worked on planes, which were painted in a shade of yellow not yet adopted by the RAF. Amazed by this surreal sight, Goddard continued his journey, unable to comprehend what he had witnessed. It wasn't until four years later, in 1939, that the RAF returned to Drem Airfield, rebuilding it to the exact standards Goddard had seen. Yellow training planes took to the skies, and mechanics donned blue overalls just as he had described. This revelation left Goddard and those who heard his tale astounded. Number 16. Sarah's Past Life Trauma the story revolves around a young girl named Sarah, who vividly recalls experiencing a traumatic event in a past life, dying in a fire. This remarkable tale, featured on Oprah's website, assures us of its credibility given Oprah's renowned commitment to fact-checking. Sarah recounted her childhood experiences on Oprah Winfrey's show, explaining her irrational fear of fire. She felt compelled to keep her dolls in a bag beneath her bed, ready for a swift escape in case of a fire in her house. Perplexed by her daughter's intense phobia, Sarah's mother sought answers and and, in a move that may seem unusual to some, consulted a past-life regression therapist. Through this uncommon yet interesting form of therapy, Sarah delved into the complicated depths of her fear. Remarkably, she uncovered memories of a past life where she perished in a farmhouse fire over a century ago. Sarah vividly described her death as unexpected, but filled with moments of panic and fear before it ended. While some may find this revelation frightening, others might question its validity, suggesting alternative explanations, such as exposure to troubling news reports or stories of house fires. However, for Sarah, the only reasonable explanation for her deep fear of fire was rooted in her past life experiences. Number 15. Andrew Carlson once upon a time, this fellow found himself in quite a bind with the law. Now, rather than owning up to his misdeeds like a responsible person, he decided to weave a tale so fantastical that they'd think it was straight out of a science fiction novel. Andrew Carlson, a man who somehow took a mere $800 and magically transformed it into a staggering $350 million within the blink of an eye. Naturally, such an extraordinary rags-to-riches story caught the attention of the FBI faster than, say, time travel. They weren't about to let this slide without a thorough investigation investigation. Carlson, however, wasn't sweating it. He had his excuse all polished up and ready to go. Time travel. He claimed he had journeyed through time and space, giving him a crystal clear vision of exactly where to invest his meager sum. He was quick to assure everyone that his newfound wealth had nothing to do with any shady business like insider trading. Some people bought into his tale, at least initially. After all, there seemed to be a curious lack of records about this guy before 2002, just a year before his sudden rise to financial glory. While some reports insist that Carlson never faced any charges, others suggest that the truth might not be so clear-cut. Number 14. Bryant Johnson the police recently arrested a man for being drunk in public. What makes this story captivating is that this individual claimed to be a time traveler from the future. According to reports from KTWO radio station, the man, identified as Bryant Johnson, insisted that he had journeyed back in time to warn the residents of Casper, Wyoming, about an impending extraterrestrial attack. Johnson declared that he hailed from the year 2048 and had embarked on this mission to alert people to the near arrival of aliens. He allegedly requested to meet with the president of Casper and urged citizens to evacuate quickly. His method of time travel was quite unusual, as he claimed that aliens had injected alcohol into his bloodstream and made him stand on a colossal platform, allowing him to traverse through time. However, there seemed to be an interruption in his time travel plans, as Johnson found himself in the year 2017 instead of his intended destination of 2018. When apprehended, Johnson displayed classic signs of drunkenness, bloodshot eyes, insulted speech, and the smell of alcohol emitting from him. A breathalyzer test confirmed his high blood alcohol content level of 0.136. While the authorities detained Johnson for being drunk in public, his extraordinary claims and peculiar circumstances have sparked wonder and interest among the locals. Number 13. Charlotte Ann Moberly and Eleanor Jourdain 
The term time slip refers to an unusual type of ghostly experience where a person feels like they've momentarily traveled back in time, witnessing their surroundings as they might have appeared in the past. This event, also known as retrocognition, gained attention through a particularly famous incident recounted by two English women in 1901. While casually strolling through the Palace of Versailles Gardens, they stumbled upon individuals dressed in clothing from the late 18th century and noticed historical features that had vanished over time. Their story caused quite a stir, sparking debates and capturing international headlines about a century ago. During their leisurely walk in 1901, scholars Charlotte Anne Moberly and Eleanor Jordan witnessed something extraordinary at Versailles. Interested, they carefully investigated every detail of their experience for the next decade, eventually concluding that they had indeed encountered a time slip. Since then, many have speculated that Moberly and Jordan might have journeyed through time. Their detailed account, documented in their book later titled titled An Adventure, a true story about time travel, was based on extensive research into the fashion, setting, and society of Versailles in 1789. Some of the details they recalled were not commonly found in history books, lending credence to their narrative. Number 12. Time Traveling Hipster this interesting photograph that initially appears straightforward but upon closer inspection reveals a mysterious figure. Captured in 1941, this image has become the subject of much curiosity. There stands a man who seems oddly out of place, earning him the nickname the time-traveling hipster. What's immediately striking about him is his attire. While the rest of the crowd dons typical 1940s hats and overcoats, he stands apart, sporting what appears to be modern sunglasses, a logo-emblazoned t-shirt, and carrying a portable camera items that wouldn't become commonplace until decades later. This photograph didn't attract widespread attention until the 21st century when it was featured in an online exhibition by the Brohr Pioneer Museum. People couldn't help but notice this mysterious individual who seemed to defy the era he was captured in. While many entertained the idea of time travel, the prevailing theory today is more ordinary yet still interesting. It suggests that the hipster wasn't a visitor from another time, but rather a fashion-forward individual of his era. In the 1940s, he might have been seen as a leader, someone ahead of his time in terms of style. Despite the initial shock of seeing him amidst the crowd of the 1940s, closer examination reveals that all the pieces of his outfit were indeed available during that period, albeit not as commonly worn as they would later become. Number 11. Charlotte Warburton Charlotte's adventure resembles the unusual incident in Moberly and Jordan. She's one of the select few who insist they've undergone a time slip. It all commenced on June 18, 1968, a period when England, much like the rest of the world, was grappling with the aftermath of war and the dawn of modern technology. On this day, Charlotte stumbled upon a quaint cafe while exploring the village in pursuit of her beloved coffee fix. However, this cafe was unlike any other. As she entered, she felt as though she had been transported back in time. The interior appeared to belong to a decade prior, with its old-fashioned decor and patrons seemingly stuck in the 1960s. Although bewildered, Charlotte didn't delve deeper into the mystery and continued her quest for coffee elsewhere. It wasn't until she recounted her experience to her husband that she realized something was amiss. Despite her efforts to locate the cafe again, it eluded her grasp. In its place stood an entirely different establishment, devoid of any trace of the cafe she vividly remembered. Doubter may dismiss Charlotte's tale as mere imagination or a misinterpretation of events. However, her story isn't an isolated incident. It aligns with a plethora of similar accounts throughout history, where individuals claim to have briefly journeyed into the past or encountered places that defy existence in their time. Number 10. Chase Bowman the tale of a young boy who claims he once fought in the Civil War in a past life is quite intriguing. This particular case gained attention when it was featured on Oprah Winfrey's show back in 1994. At that time, it seemed like stories of past lives were all the rage. This 11-year-old boy named Chase Bowman shared his remarkable experiences of being a child soldier during the Civil War on Oprah's stage. Imagine that, a boy barely in his teens recounting vivid memories of battles, hiding behind rocks, and getting shot in the wrist on the battlefield. He even described the grim reality of being treated in a field hospital. What's even more chilling is how he talked about his death with such clarity. Chase's fascination with his past life started when he was just eight years old. He would draw detailed pictures of his memories from that time. It's quite extraordinary because typical boys his age aren't usually interested in playing soldier or with toy army men. And to be honest, children don't often possess such vivid imaginations to concoct such elaborate tales. So it seems that Chase's ability to articulate his 
his past life experiences is the only plausible explanation. Number 9. Alexander Smith A person claiming to be a time traveler has surfaced, but unlike many others who might exploit such abilities for nefarious deeds, this individual appears to be more of a curious soul with an overactive imagination. Alexander Smith, an internet persona who has made waves by sharing a photograph he alleges was taken in the year 2118. It's a curious endeavor, considering the rarity of printed photos in our digital age. But perhaps, as Smith suggests, people in the future still appreciate the nostalgic charm of physical prints, reminiscent of time when you'd pick up snapshots from the pharmacy in an hour. Smith presents himself as part of a lineage of time travelers, yet when probed for specifics on his temporal voyages, he remains cryptic. His interview leaves much to be desired in terms of concrete details about his methods. The photograph he flaunts is admittedly blurry, purportedly due to the distortions of time travel, an explanation that leaves many doubters unconvinced. In his depiction of the future, Smith paints a picture of impending peril, suggesting that humanity faces numerous threats, including the ever-looming specter of global warming. While addressing climate change is undoubtedly a pressing concern, hearing it from an internet mystery like Smith hardly seems like the catalyst needed to spur action on such a monumental issue. Number 8. Father Francois Brun Imagine a mysterious gadget called the Chronovisor, rumored to have the extraordinary ability to see past events and future occurrences. According to Francois Brun, a writer delving into religion and paranormal phenomena, this device was said to have been created by Italian priests and scientists, notably Father Pellegrino Maria Ernetti. In his intriguing book The Vatican's New Mystery, Brun mentions Ernetti's claims about the Chronovisor, detailing its construction and operation. Ernetti, a real person who lived from 1925 to 1994, purportedly worked on the chronovisor alongside 12 other renowned scientists, including Enrico Fermi and Werner von Braun. Described as a large cabinet with a cathode ray tube for visualizing events, along with various buttons and controls, he asserted that this device could capture sound waves and electromagnetic radiation from past occurrences. Despite Ernetti's vivid descriptions and claims of witnessing historical events like Christ's crucifixion, unbelievers have cast doubts on the validity of his assertions. For instance, an image supposedly captured by the chronovisor of Christ's crucifixion was found to resemble a mirrored artwork by the artist Culo Valera. Similarly, Ernetti claimed to have seen performances of ancient plays, such as the lost tragedy Tiestus, but suspicions arose when it was suggested that Ernetti himself may have composed these works. Number 7. Håkan Nordqvist Håkan Nordfist, a man from Sweden, shared an intriguing tale during a documentary back in 2006. He recounted an unusual incident that happened on a late night in August 30th, 2021, while he was trying to repair a leaking pipe under his kitchen sink. As he began his task, he noticed something surreal, a vision of himself at the age of 72. This wasn't just a fleeting thought, he genuinely saw his older self. Upon returning home from work, Håkan found his kitchen floor wet. Determined to fix the issue, he gathered his tools and started examining the pipes. However, the distance between him and the pipes seemed farther than expected. Despite this, he decided to crawl inside, and to his surprise, he emerged into a future world, the year 2042. In this futuristic setting, he encountered his 72-year-old self, which he confirmed through various tests. Strangely, he chose not to reveal too much about future events to his younger self. Instead, he captured evidence of this encounter by taking pictures of a shared tattoo they both had. Later, a snippet from the documentary titled Swedish Time Traveler Encounters Future Self with Video Proof surfaced on social media platforms like TikTok. However, it was later revealed that the documentary was a clever marketing strategy for Sweden's third largest pension fund, AMF. Number 6. The Man from Taured in the 1950s, on a bright and sunny day at Tokyo's Hana Airport, an impeccably dressed gentleman arrived, setting the stage for an extraordinary tale. Initially, everything appeared ordinary until he presented his passport during customs inspection. To the surprise of officials, the passport indicated a country called Tored, a nation unrecognized by conventional world maps or political knowledge. Despite explanations, the man insisted on Tored's existence as a sovereign state nestled between France and Spain. His frustration grew 
as authorities refuted his claims. Professing to be in Japan for business, a routine endeavor for him, the man offered his passport filled with stamps from previous travels as evidence. Additionally, he possessed currencies from various European countries, a driver's license from the mysterious Tored, and checks from an untraceable bank. Perplexed TSA officials detained him for further interrogation, prompting him to identify Tored on a map. Without hesitation, he pointed to the region occupied by the Principality of Andor, genuinely puzzled by its absence. Subsequently, the man was confined to a hotel room under tight surveillance for investigation. Despite the high security measures, by the following morning, he had vanished without a trace. This mysterious disappearance left behind a puzzling secret that captured the imaginations of many for decades to come. While unbelievers and researchers have attempted to unearth evidence of this incident, concrete records or eyewitness proof remain elusive. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. This time traveler just showed a photo that he claims is from the year 6000. In the heart of busy New York City, an unusual scene unfolded on a cold autumn day. A crowd had gathered around a mysterious figure whose attire seemed out of place amidst the modern skyline. With an air of interest, the crowd leaned in closer as the mysterious traveler produced an old-fashioned photograph. This, Alexis began, is a glimpse into the future, a snapshot from the year 6000. Gasps rippled through the crowd as they stared at the aged photo, its corners ripped with the passage of millennia. In the image, towering spires stretched towards the heavens, glowing with an otherworldly glow. Strange, hovering vehicles crisscrossed the sky like metallic birds, and in the distance, a city of unimaginable proportions sloped across the landscape. He spoke with a voice filled with wonder and urgency. In the year 6000, humanity has unlocked the secrets of the universe. Our cities span continents, and our technology transcends comprehension. But heed this warning, with great power comes great responsibility. As the time traveler vanished into the busy streets, leaving behind a sense of wonder and possibility, the people were left to ponder the implications of what they had seen. Could they shape their destiny to match the wonders depicted in the photograph? Or would they succumb to the pitfalls of vanity and short-sightedness? Share your opinions in the comments below. Number 5. The Bizarre Case of Rudolf Fence. Rudolf Fence's tale originates in the bustling streets of New York City during the late 1950s. Legend has it that one fateful evening, a stranger emerged in the heart of Times Square, appearing utterly lost amidst the modern hustle and bustle. Covered in attire reminiscent of the late 19th century, complete with a distinguished top hat and a formal frog coat, this mysterious figure was soon identified as Rudolf Fence. Seemingly bewildered by the stark contrast between his era and the present, he found himself tragically struck by a passing vehicle before he could make sense of his surroundings, resulting in his untimely demise. However, the mystery deepened as investigators delved into Fence's belongings. Among his possessions were currency dating back to the 1870s, a receipt for horse care and carriage washing services, a letter addressed to a defunct location, and business cards bearing his name. Further research unveiled an astonishing coincidence. Another individual named Rudolf Fence had vanished without a trace in 1876, leaving behind a void in history. The eerie similarities between the two men fueled speculation that Fence had somehow crossed through time, inadvertently finding himself stranded in the 20th century, only to meet a tragic end. Despite extensive inquiries, concrete evidence surrounding Fence's peculiar existence remains elusive to this day. Number 4. Journey to the Year 6000 an unnamed person shared a photo that he claims is from the year 6000, showing a distorted city. He mentioned facing opposition from futuristic rulers for revealing this information. He explained that during his time travel to the future, he captured the image but couldn't disclose the city's name to avoid altering the future. The distortion in the picture, he clarified, was a common occurrence in time travel, affecting not just images but sometimes even body parts. According to this individual, time travel technology was first tested on animals like dogs and cats, before being refined for humans. He predicted that time travel would become public by 2028. Claiming to have been part of a secret program from the 1990s, he insisted his intention was not to deceive, but to shed light on humanity's future. In the year 6000, the person asserted, humanity is governed by advanced artificial intelligence capable of predicting events with absolute certainty. He revealed that the government structure had evolved, with AI making decisions devoid of human emotions, thus avoiding flawed reasoning. This AI, he claimed would spread human consciousness throughout the universe by uploading brains into computers for eternal existence. Number 3. Greta Thunberg 
Greta Thunberg is an extraordinary young woman, deeply passionate about saving the environment. It's almost as if she stepped out of a time machine, juggling her responsibilities in the present while carrying the weight of history on her shoulders. Imagine Greta, in the here and now, travels the world, spreading her message through powerful speeches and writing impactful books, all while attending school and living the life of a regular teenager. She's not just a modern-day activist, she's also lived another life a century ago, toiling away as a child laborer in the harsh conditions of a Canadian gold mine in the Yukon region. No wonder she often appears frustrated with the state of our world. The experiences of her past seem to fuel her determination to bring about change in the present. While some may dismiss the resemblance between Greta and the child laborer from 1898 as a mere coincidence, it's not uncommon for people to have doppelgangers throughout history. After all, everyone has a counterpart somewhere in the annals of time, even if they lack photographic evidence to prove it. Number 2. Noah the news that Noah, the famous time traveler, is a fraud isn't all that surprising. You see, this guy often showed up on Apex TV, hiding his face behind a blur, claiming he could peek into the future and giving us all sorts of predictions. But it turns out he's not a time traveler at all. Noah spilled the beans about his true identity in a candid video on Apex, admitting to his deception. In this eye-opening video, which you can find on Apex TV's YouTube page, Noah, or should we say Jason, comes clean. He confesses that he never expected to make headlines or to be taken seriously. According to him, he's just a regular guy living with his folks without a job to boot. He even expresses regret for any trouble his lies may have caused. Before Noah's big reveal, he was busy making all sorts of predictions. He talked about who the next United States president might be, warned of an extraterrestrial invasion in 2028, and even painted a picture of what Earth would look like down the line. He spun tales of highly advanced aliens attacking the world, planning to touch down in various parts of the globe like Northern Asia, Northern Europe and Antarctica thanks to their fancy space tech. Number 1. Man Who Time Traveled to Year 8973 William Taylor, a figure who claims to have glimpsed this distant period. In his account, he describes a world transformed into a heaven, a paradise where conflict and crime are but distant memories. It's a vision of perfection, yet Taylor himself recoils from the idea of returning. His brief sojourn into the year 8973 left him shaken, his resolve to never venture back again firm. He speaks of a government-sponsored project that propelled him forward in time, offering a glimpse into the fate of humanity. What he witnessed was a world inhabited not by humans, but by beings that oppose formal understanding. These cyborg-like entities with their enlarged heads and telepathic abilities paint a picture of evolution far beyond our current comprehension. He speaks of the year 3000, a time even more startling than our own. Here, the skies are tinted with red, and radiation taints the very air we breathe. It starkly contrasts the unrealistic vision of 8973, hinting at a future fraught with danger and uncertainty. Doubters abound, questioning the veracity of Taylor's claims. Yet he passes a lie detector test, lending an air of credibility to his amazing account. He speaks of a secret known to a select few since 1981. And while this revelation may sound like something out of a science story, Taylor insists that the truth will soon be revealed to the wider world come 2028. Which story from their collection convinced you that time travel could be possible? Share your opinions in the comments below.